Hey fuckers, dude from the shirt right here, here to review another local Maryland punk music band. And we are reviewing the Frostburg Maryland Crust Punk Band. Combustion. Combustion. Oh. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be reacting to their short album, Realities of Hell. Now, I saw Combustion once, surprisingly, with the people we reviewed last, Brickyard Folly. So we're going to go ahead and sit through some of the album. I'm going to give my thoughts, you know, what I think about the music, uh, what I can grasp of the lyrics because this album doesn't have the lyrics written down. And in my opinion, it should be like that. So here we go. Combustion, reality is a hell. First track, Holy Terror. If they'll play. Your volume? Yeah. All right, here we go. Fucking sick. All right, I just gotta say that scream alone is fucking nasty. I like the spiral intros that intros that uh that crust crust chord like hardcore do like you know with like uh, the I like I like doing that shit so I think that's Matt. Yeah, it sounds like Bill and uh, probably Matt back and forth on the first track. If not, hopefully they crush me on it. Fuck yeah, this shit's nasty as fuck, I love it. Alright, that was Holy Terror. That uh, track one review analysis... That was hard as shit. I fucking love that. Uh, definitely great kind of music for uh, the times that we're living in right now. Endless Summer is track two. So here we go. Endless Summer. Bill on those fucking drums and vocals. I just can't get it. That's Bill. I know the drummer, by the way. That's Bill. So the premise of their music is raw, hard. Uh, I don't think it's D beat because knowing him, he uses a single, uh, single kick pedal. I heard. So I mean, that's just like raw, hard crust punk mixed with like speedy hardcore, and I fucking love it. And it's just amazing that this whole album is only seven minutes, and we're already on the second track. Uh, I love speed and I love short songs, so this is going good so far. Alrighty, fuck yeah. Next one's called The Rat. Oh! <laughs> A hypocrite, what a big surprise. Fuck yes. Just from the subjectory I hear in the beginning, this is my favorite off the whole album so far. Incorrection. Love the fucking bitch at the end, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that shit was dope. Alright, the rat, victim, decapitation, encouragement, modern warfare, reality of hell, and bright future. 
Okay, so we are on track three. We'll do a few more tracks because I listened to the full album myself before I went on video, of course, just to break down like the important moments. So we're gonna go with the Captation Encouragement. <laughs> Ah, feedback. Raw shit, love it. Knowing the guy that does the vocals for this, like, I hang out with him at like punk fest and I like talk to him a few times. It's not like I'm like friend, friend, friends with him, but like I know him. The fact that this is him on vocals and knowing how he talks off stage is the most jarring thing I have ever fucking experienced. He's usually like, uh, and this is not in a bad form at all because I'm not like being mean, but he, he's like all like uh, the happy go lucky, like uppy guy. Like, you know, he's like, hey, what's up, man? And then when we saw him up in combustion and he gets on the drums, we're just like, okay. Right? Like I saw him in Middle Age Brigade. He's in the he's in Middle Age Brigade. But he doesn't do vocals from Middle Age Brigade. That's another person. But when he started doing these vocals, I was like, whoa shit, I was like thrown off. Because it's like on stage versus off stage is like two different personalities. And uh it's just it's raw. Their performance was also amazing because I saw them and their set was only like what, 20, 20, 20, like the 12 minutes. Yeah. Twenty like twelve minutes yeah. or something. Yeah, and we were just we were we were fucking shit up the whole time. These guys, these guys put a lot of dedication into the, into the whole into the whole energy of it, and it's amazing. Plus, there's no band around here other than other than like really underground bands that I know that do album covers like this. <laughs> 